is up, bitches? So somebody tell me why I have this fucking big ass fucking pimple. I've had it for three fucking days. You know what? You know what it is? It's fucking karma. Because my 12 year old the other day woke up with a bunch of bumps on her forehead, a bunch of bumps right here, and she was crying. And I tried to like buy some some stuff for her face. I forgot it was called, forgot what it was called. And she woke up and it was way worse. And then she was like uh, so upset. She's like, mom, what's wrong with my face? Why do I have so many fucking pimples? She didn't say fucking, she doesn't cuss in front of me. Sophia on the other side, she fucking cusses the fuck out of me. But she was crying and she was so upset and I kept trying to help her. And then I just got like, you know, you get annoyed because you're trying to help somebody and no matter what the fuck you do, they just keep bitching. I was like, I don't know, Mandy, I don't know. I can't relate, I've never had fucking pimples. And then she looked at me like, and the next day, boom, woke up with a fucking pimple. That should, that's going to teach me a fucking lesson right there because I was fucking being an asshole right there. Like, I shouldn't do that to my daughter. That was, that was some mean shit. I mean, it was really not mean, but I just get fucking pissed off and I'm just like, the fuck, leave me alone. But anyways, I want to tell you guys a little story. It's funny to me today, funny to me now, but it was very upsetting when it happened. So, me and Mario started going out in April, right? April. And we were very happy and talkative. Like, I told him everything about my life. Every fucking thing. I would never shut the fuck up. And then six months in the relationship, we were talking, you know, like all the time. Like we always did. Like we always do. And he's like, oh, by the way... Before you, I had a girlfriend for a whole year. Yes. He had a whole fucking girlfriend for a whole fucking year. And then before that, they were going out online. Yeah. When he was 16, he got his first computer. He got his first computer. And the first thing he fucking did was going to this motherfucking website called A Chat. And... There's girls in there and there's guys in there and he just started talking to this one girl and he told me that he started talking to her because she's the only one that replied. So he started talking to her and from there they started talking to each other and da 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 and then they started sending them themselves pictures, started like I don't know what it was called back then. Skyping? Skyping and he he was start he worked at KFC he saved up enough money to fucking fly this bitch out to fucking California from fucking Texas. Uh-huh. And then he just brought her to his ha- brought her to his house and like, here mom, I got myself a bitch. And of course his mom is not gonna kick his some like girl out that doesn't even know what the fuck is going on. And he told me this shit. And then he told me that he lost that he, he like he took her virginity. And he told me, like, that that's how he learned how to have sex with her because that was his little sex toy. And then I was like, so everything you've done with me, you've done with her? That was so upsetting to me. Because I thought I was the only bitch, you know. I felt special because I was like, yes, I'm doing this with you and you're doing it with me. And we're just being, you know, freaky dicky together. But, no, I wasn't the first one. Yeah. But anyways, um, he told me they were living together for a whole fucking year. And the reason he ended up in Bowman, the reason we met, um, that's where we met, was because he would ditch a lot of school because this girl had all her credits. And he, he didn't, he was like normal, he was a regular um, junior. And she had all her credits to graduate. So she would tell him, oh, just stay just stay and we could fuck all day and he's like okay i have a dick you have a vagina let's just fuck all day so they would stay home and fuck all fucking day and that's how he started missing messing up his credits and that's why he ended up in bowman so he told me all this shit and then um he showed me pictures of her because he had him on his fucking computer and then <sighs> He fucking tells me, but it's okay. You don't have to worry about her because she's dead. 
a moment of silence. I start fucking crying. I start screaming. I'm like, no, Mario, we can't be together because, like, if she was still, was still living and you, you weren't with her, that means it wasn't meant to be. But if she's dead, that means your soul is with her because that's your first love and we can't be together. Why didn't you tell me this? Now I love you and now I can't be with you because, you know, that was your first love. And I was just, like, upset. I was like, we can't be together. And I was screaming. I was running from one side to the other side of the house. I was just, like, really fucking upset. This motherfucker, 10 minutes. It took him 10 minutes to actually tell me the truth and say, ha, 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 got you. He was fucking lying. The bitch didn't die. She didn't die. She existed. He was just fucking with me. But, yeah. Can you fucking believe that shit? He fucking did that to me? He laughs about it, and I laugh about it now. But that was some evil fucking shit. And then I told him, like, I still can't be with you because you lied to me. And he's like, too late. You love me now. But anyways, can you believe that shit? Like, that's fucked up. He told me six months after. Six months after he told me that he had a whole fucking relationship with a whole other woman. And he never told me this. What kind of fucking asshole? But it's cool. It's cool because I told him. I told him right before he when he wanted to move in with me. He's like, stay with me. Um, when that Fourth of July, he told me, and I was like, I can't stay with you because you don't know me. I'm fucking crazy. So he's like, no, you can't be that crazy. Plus, I love you. So boom, jokes on you, motherfucker. You lied to me, but I told you the truth, and then. You got fucked over because now you stuck with me, bitch. But anyways, that's my motherfucking story. I have to pick up Sophia now. Two schools now, bitch. Two schools.